guys and welcome back. So what we did in the last video is we actually merged everything, all the uh, the conflicts that were there, and um, the conflicts that were there. Here's what the app looks like currently. If I go in as a non-user, I log in to that specific host, and this is what the view is. It'll say log in or sign up. And so far, these don't work because I, had it, I haven't added any templates for them yet. And uh, let's see. Failed to load. The server responded. Search and contact. None of them will load because I haven't loaded the templates for them. Currently, the way that the app is structured is that we have another app, app module, angular.natural blog app we have within the blog folder. And within public.js and core.js, we have the other app, which is pretty much the app that's for the logged in user. Logged in user will will use this logic, which is in this app over here. And the user that's kind of browsing from the web will see this core.js. Everything that's in, uh, let's see, view, which that's in within views, and then this one, core.js. So they're both core.js. This is just a brand new one. This is what it looks like for a user that's not logged in. It'll just have all the articles. And for the user that is logged in, we're going to show a little bit more information. And that is the ability to add photos. And that currently works. Um, and the ability to add, uh, add the HTML as well. So that's going to be really cool. You can search. You can add a new blog post. You'll have an admin area with information about all of your uh, all of your blog posts. How they're maybe ha maybe some analytics about it. Eventually, we'll get there. Uh, let's see. And you also see over here what your blog looks like, even if you're a logged in user. And that's pretty good. We'll have the contact page. We'll have to put that for the non logged in user, which is this view over here as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it so far. And uh, so we were able to uh, do all the changes of the merge conflicts. And finally, we pushed everything as well. And that's what the app is moving towards too. So feel free to, uh, to comment if you have any questions about uh, how we did that. Um, I'll quickly say a word or two about how Angular, how the, um, the S3 works, S3. If I go, uh, this is pretty much the files that are in S3. It's for, it's within the public folder JS, and that's where all the logic goes for the logged in user. And it's got, uh, let's see, is it filters? No. Is it image.js? Yeah, Koala CMS. And PT image uploader, this is also it. Okay, so as you can see, this is a directive. The directive is called PT image uploader, and that was added into our community folder, a community.ejs file, and that's PT image uploader. It's it's uh, it's pretty it's called the Angular directive, and every time that the HTML starts reading and sees PT image uploader, it's going to automatically go to this PT image uploader. The directive, as you can see over here, it's camel case, and over there it's dash case. And uh, let's see here. Okay, we have an um, we made an H HTTP call to slash S three creds, and when we do that, we uh, we go back into the server, and as you can see, the server .js. Oh no, sorry. We go to routes app routes .js routes .js. We'll go to slash s3 creds and it'll pull it process.env. That's because the process.env is everything in the .env file, and that can only be viewed from the browser side of things. That's why we're making a call from the controller, which is uh, the controller of the PT image uploader directive is making an HTTP call, and that gets the cred the creds, and then it also does compression automatically on the image before it's uploaded to AWS S3. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to go ahead and ask me. Um, I'll also put this link in the description, which is just the, the Angular S3, AWS S3 logic before it was merged, merged into the Koala CMS project. So hope to see you in the next video and have a good one.